that there are some people who can apply for jobs here without needing an LMI. Who are these people? Hello, people. Welcome to Choco Obelanea. Um, Thank you so much for tuning in. If you've already made it here by uh, checking in this video, I will encourage you to support this channel by hitting the like button. Then subscribe to this channel if you would like to receive more updates from me and also activate the bell notification. That way, whenever I drop a video, you'll be one of the first to actually see this video. Now, I've never been so excited like today. The reason being that there is a big, big, big update coming out of the Immigration Commission of Canada, specifically for people with Francophone background. Now, here is it. Canada's immigration has received a lot of criticism for promoting programs that tend to be skewed towards, you know, bringing in more Anglophone or people who speak English to Canada. Um, so people have argued that, that they are stifling out the growth of Francophone communities across Canada, not just Quebec. I believe that this may have played a role in the government of Canada introducing this brand new uh, program, not only as a brand new program, but also expanding it to even make it more easier for people who have French speaking abilities or Francophone backgrounds in education to actually migrate to Canada. So the program today I'm talking about is called the F Francophone Mobility Program. Francophone Mobility Program. Uh, the background to this program is that it was initially designed or introduced some time back by the IRCC, which is Canada's Immigration Commission, with the sole purpose of attracting the best of skilled workers with uh, some of the highest level of education, up to about tertiary level, to actually apply for jobs in Canada and then fill this job. Now, it wasn't something that was easy for a lot of people to meet just because the requirements were a little bit mm, tight. But here is the good news though, guys. On June 15, they dropped this banger. And what is a banger? Now, you can apply for any job in Canada. Any job in Canada, all right? So long as you can prove that you meet French language requirement if you have a francophone background you have your francophone education you meet that so without wasting too much let me go straight into reading this i'm going to be attaching the link in the description box so make sure you click on this to read it yourself as well okay canada expands the francophone mobility program to increase francophone immigration this was a release uh, just about june 15th right Rec very very recent all right, so let me go straight to the point. Uh, Francophone immigration is at the heart of the government of Canada's priorities. The country has always been a forerunner in its initiatives um, to welcome as many French-speaking nationals as possible by implementing innovative initiatives to foster the contribution of newcomers to minority communities, mm, thus maintain the social fabric of our country, which is basically Canada being a bilingual country in English. And French, all right. So let me go through this. Uh, the next one, the Honorable Sean Fraser, who is a Minister of Immigration, all right, announced the expansion of the Francophone Mobility Program for a period of two years. It's been expanded and extended for two additional years, which allows Canadian employers to make a job offer to an eligible candidate with a moderate command of French for all national occupation classification with the exception of jobs in primary agriculture this measure initially reserved for highly skilled french speaking that's what i said initially this was reserved for highly qualified top top skills uh, folks this measure initially reserved for highly skilled french speaking temporary foreign workers now opens the door to more french speaking immigrants by offering them the opportunity to gain Canadian work experience and potentially qualify for permanent residency. In addition, um, let me just go on to the next one here. Um, in addition to this, you will not be needing an LMI. You won't need an LMI. What is LMI? Labor Market Impact Assessment. 
that crucial document that prevents a lot of people from getting their work permit here because they have to prove this and prove that. They've removed that requirement. So if you are hearing me and you're wondering what grammar is this guy talking about, I'm saying that there are some people who can apply for jobs here without needing an LMI. Who are these people? One, anybody with a francophone background who can prove that they speak French by checking the language test, the francophone language test, right? Or somebody who has a francophone background and also went to school and can prove it by a francophone education that I went to school, my secondary, my college, right? Or university, whichever one. Or somebody who may not be francophone, but has studied French and has moderate command over the language of French and can prove this by way of actually taking a language test. Generally, the language test requirement for, I, uh, for taking your, um, for applying for permanent residence in Canada has always been around a 6.57 benchmark, right? Previously, for this program, it was set around 7. 7, meaning if you take your francophone language test, right? You ought to at least hit that 7. Guess what? They've dropped this to 5. Benchmark 5. If I were to compare that to IELTS, it means from 7, they drop it to 5. Now, so you're watching me right now talk about how do I go about this? All right. Can you prove that you speak French by taking that language test? Or are you a francophone person with all this education, blah, blah, blah? If yes, my people, the first thing you need is to get a full-time job offer. You are either going to get a job offer yourself or you're using a professional recruiter here in Canada who is licensed to do that for you. Now, I have this video right here which teaches you how to find jobs in Canada on Job Bank, which is the government's official website for finding jobs, right? And I kind of took my time to teach you guys how you can tailor and find your jobs there. Now, if you're watching this video right now, you want to go and settle on provinces in Canada where we have a huge francophone community, right? In Nova Scotia, for example, we have Clara. In New Brunswick, there is a huge francophone community there, right? In Quebec, I am named them, so many of them. Just go on Job Bank and customize your search and find your own job. This is the best time for you to find jobs without needing an LMIA. Or if you have a recruiter, or if you know a recruiter or an immigration consultant who is so good and has all these connections to employers, you can reach out to them and let them hook you up with a job. Once you get that job offer, you just need to go ahead and pay the employer's uh, employer compliance fee of $230, which I'm linking on the screen right now, and then go ahead and submit your application. You could be on your way to getting your foreign work permit approved for you to migrate to Canada, possibly with your, even your family, right? If you have your, your spouse and your children to so come in and work as a skilled worker. Right after you coming into Canada on this program, remember, after your one year of doing this job for one full year, full time, you are eligible to apply for permanent residency through the program called Canadian Experience Class. That is another program altogether after you achieve your one year of work experience in Canada on this program. I think this is a single big news that the Francophone community should take advantage of. They just launched it and expanded it as well. You have no excuse now. You went to school, you went to do your program in French or you come from a Francophone country. You've been wondering whether you also need an LMI. This is the news for you. If you're already living in Canada, on a visitor's visa, you came here and you also meet the requirement. This is the best time for you to narrow your search on job bank or finding uh, consultants, immigration consultants who are legally certified to actually help you actually connect with these employees out there. Remember, the restrictions of LMI have been removed completely. I will also be linking a video where I show you how to find legit immigration consultants in Canada just to make sure you don't fall prey to the wrong people. I also want to use this opportunity to say that once there are opportunities like this or videos like this out there, be on the watch for fake agents out there who will be packaging all kinds of uh, fake jobs, pretending that they are actually offering you a legit opportunity. Don't be a victim. Make sure you are actually using the right resources and the people to help you with your immigration journey. Remember to subscribe for more updates. I will be coming your way with a lot more updates on how you can actually even take this to the next level. Stay blessed. My name is Chuck Melonia and have a good day. Bye-bye.